Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm uh, delighted that I've been invited by Ari to talk about our underwater story. Um, with Cine Diving, we have uh, specialized in underwater filming with high-end cameras. And our pref uh, the camera that we prefer to do that is the Studio XT. It sounds maybe a little bit uh, strange that we take the most expensive Alexa, but uh, I will explain you in a minute why we choose for the um, Alexa Studio XT. First of all, I want to show you some footage uh, of what we do. There's a Arsenal music video um, which we, for, for which we shot uh, a few weeks ago in a black pool. So we were filming in a uh, black uh, swimming pool. You see the singer Lidmore, uh, who is lipping um, her song underwater. Uh, we do that with an underwater speaker. Um, so she can hear her music and uh, sing along with it. So this is shot with the, with the Alexa Studio XT on Ari Raw. Ari Raw is very important for us because um, when you have no compression, you don't have the, ar the artifacts that uh, come along. And since the, the background underwater is really a gradient, uh, with the little subtle differences, once you have, once you work with compression, you have um, quite fast artifacts when you do um, grading. So that's why we, that's why we chose uh, to to use Ari Raw. So what do we need for uh, to shoot this video? First of all, a big black swimming pool. We are very happy that in Belgium we have a big studio of uh, 3,000 square meters and there's a pool of 25 by 20 uh, by 35 meters, all black and uh, very practical to work in. And so that's, uh, that's our, uh, that we are lucky that we can, we can have it and we can use it there. So we have a black pool. We have a team, of course. The team is really very important. First of all, you see the, the the singer here, um, Tommy is my my uh, co-diver, uh, camera operator and diver, and uh, he's training the artist. This is very very important. First thing that comes along that is that people do not behave normally, uh, naturally underwater. So you have to train them. And Tommy is very experienced free diver, so he can. Um, uh, train the, the, the actors and the, in this case the singer to be really at ease to open the eyes uh, and to breathe uh, not breathing on the water but to, to, to uh, stop breathing and to, to, to behave very natural without panicking so that's a really big aspect in all the work that we do of course we need safety divers and people at the shore uh, our system works with a multi-cable, so I will, of course, we first of all, the lighting, you need some lighting. Here we have uh, a big uh, screen which we lit from uh, with uh, X-Lights, the Ari X-Light 6K uh, on uh, flicker-free ballasts, on high-speed ballasts, and the M90 as the main source for the, for the beams coming into the water. And then, of course, the camera system. So here you see myself operating the camera and that's Bert my gaffer underwater gaffer so all also the gaffers have to uh, have to be divers or part of them have to be divers and you see the camera we have a multi cable of 45 meters and this multi cable gives us the power from the surface so we don't have to stop to change batteries very important we have um, HD monitoring going up in this multi cable we have the full lens control, iris, uh, focus and zoom, and we have the RCU4. The RCU4 gives us the opportunity to have full um, contact, full control over the, the camera. And now we come to the point that why a Studio XT? The Studio XT has uh, integrated IR and D filter 1.2 
and we can pilot this filter, we can control it from surface by pushing the button. So that means that we can work with, with uh, open DF when we put the filter, and once we go down on the water and it becomes too dark, we can release it by pushing the button without stopping uh, to get the camera out and change filters. This is really important. The autonomy, the autonomy uh, underwater is very high in our system. And this is important because uh, often uh, actors can only act underwater for a very limited time. So, for example, 20 minutes uh, in, in 18 degrees of water, when we go in the Mediterranean Sea or something, we have 18 or 20 degrees, and an actor without protection, he can uh, act for 15 or 20 minutes. And in these 20 minutes, it's not us as a technical team who will say, stop, we have to change batteries, or stop, we have to change the cart, or uh, sorry, we have a little bit of dust in the in the uh, housing, so this is not the way we work. So we have to be take care that we work for a long time underwater, that we can stay the whole day in the water, that the camera is not overheating, and this, this is what we pay attention for. So we have uh, systems for that, that we can keep on shooting without trouble. Um, I show you, yeah, this is the, so why I, we chose for the Alexa Studio XT. First of all, you have the image quality and the real cinematic look. You have really the, the cinema feeling, not the video, uh, video image. You have the real 14 stops of latitude. This is very important on the water because uh, we also do surface uh, shoots where we go, where we're filming in the sun and we go down and suddenly you lose two stops. So when your camera has 14 stops of latitude, you can really keep on shooting without problem. And our assistant can adjust uh, the DF, and it's not, if it's the iris, so if it's not precise for one, for one stop, we can still uh, correct it afterwards. So the Aliro is uncompressed 12 bit. That means that uh, we have no compression artifacts which is really important when you have underwater landscapes with a very subtle differences, with a, with a, a grading um, background. It becomes very, very uh, important to have this. The larger autonomy on the cards is, is of course important. The higher resolution makes resizing possible in many cases. Um, and uh, of course, underwater, uh, you have the fact that you control the camera as a camera operator, but you also have the fact that your actor maybe is not moving like he should move above the water. That means that you can never know that he, he is uh, uh, going down or up uh, suddenly. So that's why in post-production, this reframing, this resizing can be very important. Uh, the color ex and the exposure index uh, we can adapt in post-production, I told you, and then, of course, uh, we have the IR and D filter 1.3, which we can uh, switch on and off on surface. So this is, this is a very nice thing to have. i show you some more footage. Sorry. We shot this in our black uh, swimming pool as well, um, a fashion model on the water. Uh, Tommy was there uh, to, uh, to learn her act on the water. When she came in the morning, she was going under for the first time and was, uh, had a face which was not relaxed. Uh, she couldn't keep her breath very long and we trained her to keep her, to keep her breath uh, about one minute and so we can shoot uh, with her. The lighting that you see is a tungsten lighting and uh, it became green because of the water filtering. Water is filtering the, the light, the blue light, uh, the red light out. So what remains is blue light or green light. So if you filter, if you have a tungsten bulb and you put it on 20 meters, it's a green light. So, uh, and we liked it, so we used it. So um, that's nice. Uh, the fast lighting, so that's a, that's a tungsten power there. 
and uh, the front light, the fill light, is a tungsten source that we put uh, above the water uh, on a reflector on the water. So we didn't have, uh, uh, in this case, we didn't have lighting on the front on the water, but only a reflector. So uh, that's our fashion shoot. The optics on the water are really behaving completely different than above the water. So we use standard um, lightweight zoom, Ari Zeiss uh, lightweight zoom, uh, because of its very short uh, MOD. The minimum object distance on the water becomes uh, uh, really much longer uh, when you combine it with uh, with uh, dome port. So uh, with this lightweight zoom, we, uh, we, it has an MOD of 45, and this becomes about 80 centimeters um, of the minimum distance on the water. If you take the other uh, smaller uh, zoom lenses with 60 uh, centimeters of MOD, this becomes suddenly uh, a few meters on the water. So this, it's a really, really important that you have the right optics on the water. We can film with a dome port or a flat port. In fact, with the flat port, we have uh, we we solve a lot of problems for uh, chromatic aberrations at the site, and we solve the problem that you're zooming in your lens. If you use a, a flat port, you will zoom about 30% uh, more tele. Um, and some people like that effect, that's why we use a flat port some, sometimes to, for surface work. So when we're on surface and we're going down and suddenly the actor comes 30% closer, uh, this effect sometimes is uh, wanted by the director of the order DP, and so we can offer it. So optics underwater is a completely uh, other world than above the water. That's why it's also important to have the HD monitoring uh, on the surface and the focus puller at the uh, full HD monitoring uh, to do the focus right. I will show you some surface work. So this is with available light, no added light. We're in the morning uh, with the morning sun and um, camera half-half. And so you can see that we have immediately our actor on the water without any uh, additional lighting, we can film it. And without too much um, grading, we have immediately uh, a good effect because of the 14 stops of latitude. So this is, um, this is really nice. Uh, there are a lot of underwater systems with little sensors and of course, they don't have the advantage of the filmic uh, image that we can deliver with a, with a very uh, narrow depth of field. And of course also the, all these systems have compression and this is a, a real big problem for feature film. So this is why we use this, uh, this camera. Here we're on the bottom of the lake and our uh, Tommy is now uh, showing that he can keep his breath for a long time, even uh, descending uh, eight meters on the water. So that was my story about our daily work. If you have any questions, feel, please feel free to ask. Um, thank you for your attention and uh, see you soon. I, hopefully, uh, I hope that we can work for you underwater. Thank you.